Hello and welcome to my vlog. This is your friendly neighborhood old bat. And I thought I'd go ahead and do a get ready with me with that uh, dollar store, that Dollar Tree makeup. And we'll see how that goes. I'm going to look kind of kind of weird and unusual today anyway. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to do that. And I got the Bobbi Brown makeup in, eyeshadow in, so we can also do that tomorrow on my birthday. Yay! I'll be the big 5-5. Five five. Uh, I decided to go ahead and go with a goth look instead of uh, Tina Belcher because it, nobody at work gets it. No, no bad reflection on them. They just don't get it. But this they will get. This is my outfit of the day. You know, they understand the black and the goth look. So, that's what I'm going with today. And I'm going to wear my uh, really per pretty purple wig. So, let, let's get started. Can't this out a little. Yeah. We're going to kind of look like we're in a Batman movie because I've got, it's, it's a little tilted. Uh, so I don't lose any more teeth and my bad thing is, is that I grind my teeth in my sleep um, that's why I lost my back tooth it isn't for a lack of taking care of my teeth it's I grind my teeth and uh, my dad did it uh, my mom does it so yeah I gotta get a bike plate or something so that I don't do that. And that's where that goes. Um, yeah, my back teeth are chipping off because evidently I'm a stressed out person that grinds their teeth. You know, you could tell me that I need stress management all you want or that I need to chill out. But I'm not going to take my take my stress out on other people. I I kind of I'm the type of person that kind of internalizes it. Um first thing I'm going to do is get these brushes out. Wait one. I internalize my stress and I don't take it out on others. I would rather be uncomfortable personally. Um, like last night I was not feeling right and I took a clonopin even though I knew it would make me sleepy and I knew it would make me uncomfortable because Because it's not fair to everybody around me to feel the discomfort with me. You know, that's just how I feel about it. I'd rather take the discomfort and uh, roll with it. Some people aren't that courteous. And, uh, you know... I thought I had some moisturizer in here. Matter of fact, I did have some moisturizer. Well, I'll tell you what. I've got some of this uh, new color moisturizing foundation. I'm going to start with it. Um, no, I didn't take any of this stuff out of its packaging. And I'm most likely not going to use it again. Ooh. 
Oh, look at my Lee Press on nails. Yeah, I did these for Halloween. I just want them to last through the night. That's all I care about. Um, I'll show you what I used for nail glue, and I'll show you the package for the nails. These are the B color metallic fashion nails. It, the stiletto shape that I got at Dollar Tree. And I used a new color brush on nail, uh, nail glue in clear. So that's what I used in case anybody's curious. Now those I might use again. And I had one pop off while I was uh, pulling off my jeans. Now, that's that's par for the course. Um, you know, that happens. I'm just going to throw this on top of this dollar tree bag. So I can properly dispose of them. And uh, I don't get nails done because I work too much with my hands. So these things will probably fall off. Oh, this is real, real liquidy. Okay. Yeah, it's real runny. Sort of matches my skin tone. Yeah. Can't say I'm digging it. Well, I paid a puck and a quarter for it. But if you're in a pinch and you can't afford to go and get your regular foundation, I'm guessing this will be a good substitute. You know? And I'll use a blending brush to blend this stuff. I bought a couple different kinds because I didn't know up to the, just the last second which one I was going to choose. Yeah, it's a little darker than I like. It's got a weird tone to it. Yeah. What do you guys think? It's makeup. Not that good to begin with. Uh, it's okay. Well, it's not real streaky. Thank goodness. And it's blending. I remember when Dollar Tree used to have that foundation that would, or uh, Wet n Wild would have that foundation that was was orange. And uh, yeah, that would be a mess. All right, that's the only one of my brushes I'll probably use. Um, because I've got their brushes. Um, 
Next, I'm going to use the LA Color 6 Color Eyeshadow right here. And I'll use the rest at a later date so we can see how those perform. Um, there, it's called the Almost Nude Palette. It's LA Colors. Well, let's see how it goes. LA Colors is a pretty good product. Um, paid a buck and a quarter for it. Uh, let's get out a, an eyeshadow brush and see what we got here. I'll probably pass most of this down to my daughter. Uh, she likes to do new things with her makeup all the time. And uh, I got several palettes I'm giving her. Um, so. And we have each other's genetic cooties. So. <laughs> I'm going to start with this, this brown color here. This brush is not good at all. I can tell you I do not like it. And I'm not digging the eyeshadow either. Not at all. Grippo, get out of there. And I'm going to throw some of this sparkly stuff over it. This sparkly color. This is a mess. This is not spreading worth a crap. No, sir. Don't like it. But let's get, let's uh, press on. Could be that this makeup is expired, which is why it's so cheap. Could be the foundation. Could be the brush is trash. I'll tell you, I don't really, well, the brush isn't that bad. Because it's a good stiff bristle brush. Which. You know. I like. Or this could be a cheaper version of what they sell. You know elsewhere. But I can tell you I am not digging it at all. Looks like an Oreo cookie smacked me in the face. But I'm going to look a little unusual today anyway, so no harm, no foul. All right. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to get the, uh, another eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to take and I'm going to use this color here in the corner.
And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush this time. See if I have better luck with it. Comes in a nice uh, package. Wet n Wild has improved a lot over the years as far as their cosmetics and brushes and whatnot. And they've expanded their line quite a bit. So props to them as far as uh, doing better. It's okay, I guess. I won't be using this again, that's for sure. I'll use the brushes again, but I don't think I'll be using this makeup again. If this is all you if this is what you can afford, this is what you can afford. But, like I said, this eyeshadow must be expired or something. Because uh, this stuff is not spreading very well. I mean, it looks pretty in the palette, but there's no bueno. Now, if this happened with the Bobby, happens with the Bobby Brown stuff, I'm really going to be pissed. Yeah, I hit the big five five tomorrow. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing for my birthday is I'm going to be sitting back and relaxing. I'm going to play some World of Warcraft. Hang around my husband. Do as much nothing as I can possibly get away with. Doesn't sound like much, but but it's the world to me. Okay. Put this joke of a palette away. Now. I found something interesting. I'll find it again. Where is it? It's this perfect brow kit. I'm willing to give it a go and see what it does. So let's get started. Hmm, no tools. And, oh, this is cute. Comes in, has, you know, you fold down and it's a little case. Wonder if we're gonna run into the same problem we ran into last time. Okay, I got a little precision brush around here somewhere. Here it is. All right, this is the uh, Sassy Chic precision brush. Let's see how precision it is. And I gotta say, um, these nails are actually holding up pretty decent.
This isn't really a brow brush, but that's what I'm going to use it for. And I'm going to use this, this lighter, this uh, brown here, right here in the corner. Oh my. Well, that doesn't too, do too bad. Just got to blend it a little. Okay, I got a brow blender thingy in here somewhere. I know how weird that sounds, a, bl a brow blending brush. I'm going to save that. Put some stuff on that so it'll close. Um, I invested in one. This is the Wet n Wild Brow and Lash Comb. That isn't too bad. I've seen worse. Except it's flaking off. Just blend it into my eyeshadow. Nobody will notice. Yeah, it's not. It's not horrible. Not great either. I. It's it's okay. Brows don't look completely insane. Okay. Now for uh, mascara. We all know how picky I am about it. Um, I, I'm going to use, and the products I've been picking, I've been picking at random. So, the uh, Wowie. LA Colors uh, Mascara. It's supposed to lift lashes and it has a curved brush. Let me be the judge of that. Well, I'm prying and tearing and everything else with these nails. Mm, they may just last the night. I think the nails are going to be the one, that, the thing that gets that gets a B plus, A minus. Only thing I don't like about them is that you'll have to file them if you want them to look really good. Uh, but other than that, I got no gripe.
Mm. I hate these little short brushes. Mm. That doesn't look too bad. And I got it in my eyeshadow. Ah, dang it. I do. I hate it when they put these little bitty ass brushes in there. Or a little, these... It's clumpy. Let's get to be honest. Would have got a solid B if it if the uh, container had been bigger, and if the one had been bigger. You lose points for that one. Sorry. All right, now, I'm going to, I'm going to use LA Colors Bronzer for my cheeks. Give me a more severe look. That's the back. And I'm going to choose the Sassy and Chic Blush Brush. Oh, this has got to be the worst makeup job I've ever done. Stuff doesn't spread very well. I'm hating it. Well, 
All right. Now for lip color. I'm going to use the color jolt by Maybelline that I got for a buck 25. Let's see what it does. It's called lip paint. Wonder why it was in there. I'm sure I'll find out pretty quickly. That was unexpected. says intense lip paint I'm not seeing any intensity I'm saving this because it's the color I'm wearing and last but certainly not least lip gloss I'm using the B color hydrating with hyaluronic acid lip gloss in the color garnet Why not top a mess with a mess? dull <sighs> such is life I popped a nail I'll glue that sucker back on I was expecting it because uh, I was doing I was you know digging in things and whatnot so yeah I'll just I'll just glue this sucker back on Now, for the pièce de résistance. This beautiful purple wig. these straps are engaged uh. yeah 
Now you see my scalp. Yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said I'd lost more hair. Uh, such is life. I got a thinner body and thinner hair. I'd rather have the thinner body, personally. At least I'm healthier. Yeah, the strap is undone. Am I jealous when I see a woman with uh, thick hair? No. I'm happy for her. I'm a little sad that I don't have it. No, life isn't fair. Life is seldom fair. I believe that life doles out things evenly. And everybody's got something screwed up that they got to deal with. Everybody, without exception. Well, you bring it, said, and, and honey, if you bring it on yourself, that's tenfold. A bunch of mine I brought on myself. My hair, I didn't. That's the one thing that was completely out of my control. Bad or thin. It was going to fall out. Yeah, that's better. Feels like it's going to stay put. We've all got our things to deal with and our crosses to bear. And you can't be a dickhead in this life without paying some sort of price for it. And here I am. One goth chick in bad makeup. I'm going to do another one. Uh, I've got the makeup for it. Uh, but I'm going to do it on my day off. Because I'm not going to go into work with this crap on my face. Um, I'll let you know how it performs. Which I know already know it's going to perform poorly. Uh, Y'all take care. And uh, take care of yourselves. Nobody else will. And uh, love each other. Take care of each other. Love, light, and may God be with you. Bye.